Mmm, mini bikes. This you crazy mother. Yep, today I'm playing with mini bikes. This is a early 70s, late 60s, early 70s Dexon swinger. Um, a swinger has got to do with the rear end there, with the rear suspension. Um, I've got the complete bike pretty much. I've got the guards, I've got the um, wheels, I've got all the bits and pieces, the right handlebars. But I'm not a fan of the swinger. And when I was a kid, I had the rigid one, which was called the grass grub. Now... This is never going to be a grass scrub, but I want to make this cool. I want to upgrade it a little bit. We're going to lose the rear suspension. We're going to modify the frame. We're going to make it rigid. I'll keep the front springs in it. But today, what I want to do is try and see if we can get this old Kirby two-stroke, or Tecumseh Kirby two-stroke engine going. I've never tried it. It does have good compression, um, but let's just see if we can get it to start. So what we're going to do first is see if it's got spark. Um, I'm guessing this has got points being an early... Tecumseh motor, it wouldn't have electronic ignition. If it's got spark, we're winning. That means I don't have to take it all apart. Um, if it doesn't have spark, well, we'll have to take the whole cover off, the firewall off, check the points condenser, and see if we can get that to work. But um, let's take this plug out. Let's crank her over and see what we got. So since the age of, how old was I? Six. Probably earlier than that. I have had a fascination with motorcycles and engines and all that sort of stuff. And when I was seven, just after my seventh birthday for Christmas, I got my first mini bike, which was an old Dexon. It was orange. It had a little four-stroke on it, centrifugal clutch. It had a variable speed belt drive from memory. Um, and me and my mates, we'd fang it around the yard. We lived on a fairly decent sized yard. And um, that started off my motorbike passion, and I've had tons since. And being an old bloke now, you uh, reminisce of the old days. You've seen my toy video. I'm a little bit nostalgic and um, I love the old stuff so I want to try and replicate what I used to have it's going to be different I don't I'm not even sure what color to paint it yet I'm thinking orange frame like my old one but I've got other ideas as well so let's get into this mini bike we'll take this bike out and we'll see what it's like to start with not too bad I don't even know, it's a bit of rust on this, it might not get enough contact to spark. But, we'll see what happens. If it sparks, it means it's healthy, I tell you. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh, I think I've just had spark, except my rope isn't retracting. I think feels alright. Might just need a bit of lube in there. I'll see if I can feed some lube into this um, housing and get it to retract. Look at that. It's already starting to just dry. I've got spark. I'll show you that in a sec. Just let me finish fixing this. I'll rip it off. It's only four screws. So I've got to do a bit of work to the starter, but I'm going to get my trusty little uh, ratchet there, and um, I'll show you the spark. Let's see if we can do this. We'll see if we can see it anyway. I can see it. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to start. Beautifully. All right, let's see what we're going to do next. So next I want to check the condition of the air filter, and we'll um, give the carby a clean out. 
I've had this thing for maybe seven years, um, and I haven't touched it. Look at that. Brand new in there. That's a brand new filter. How good's that? Huh. Awesome. Alright, how do we get that off? Phillips head screwdriver. It looks like a non governor engine, too, which is pretty cool. There's the This is like in here. Sometimes you fall on your feet with these things and sometimes you don't. Middle. Man, it's just syrup. Syrup. But the surface of the needle looks good. But it looks like it might have been run dry the last time it was um, started up, so that is a bonus. We'll give it a quick blowout. Where's my air compressor? We'll get that going, give it a blowout. Um, I'll set this float and uh, we'll get some fuel in it and see if it starts. Righto, Carby's cleaned out. I just need to get a bit of fuel hose and a fuel source with some two stroke, because it is a two stroke. Um, and we'll crank it over, see if it'll run. I think while we're at it, might as well just take this fuel tank off and clean it out and run a fuel hose. It's easier than looking for another tank to use because I've got a tank, it just needs a clean out. Mmm, it's full of scunge and oily fuel. It smells like death. Mmm, yummy. Alrighty, fuel tank is cleaned out. There's a bit of gunk in that. The fuel tap was completely blocked. I've got my fuel hose on. I've got my plug back in. And we're ready to go. What I want to do though, I was going to clamp it. Clamp it to the bench here. So it doesn't move around when it starts up. And um, we'll fire it up right now. Uh, alrighty, we're clamped on. Um, let's set this camera up and fire this thing. Very first time. No trickery involved. Where's my rubber gun socket? Put it on half speed. We are ready. Fuel on. Fuel tap's tight. There we go. Give it a sec. More fuel. Alright, a little bit of choke with the hand. There's a throttle, it's got a spring. No, I don't like that. I'm just tightening that bolt too much. Uh, let's knock, knock it down a bit. No, I'm not using that. It's tightening the bolt too much. What I'll do, I'll put it in my drill because it doesn't have the hammer. And try that. The starter is not working correctly, so we'll use this. And hopefully, that impact driver will end up over tightening that um, flywheel onto the shaft, and I don't want to do that. Let's see what happens with this. Yes, alrighty. Ready? Some fuel. Actually went flat so I just went and got my charger but hey that runs it's not perfect the carby needs to be taken off and cleaned out properly but um, she's running all right I love the sound of a two-stroke vintage two-stroke I'll put this down turn it around we'll fire it up again and then I'll tell you what we're doing with the mini bike
But anyway, so the plan with this, I'm gonna cut the frame, flip it around so it goes that way, make it a rigid, um, lower it, probably paint it really sparkly metallic orange, give this a clean up paint wise, carburetor, all that sort of stuff. Um, I've got the original ape hangers and I've also got the monkey bars that they came out with as well, similar to a Honda Z50. Um, so I'll work out what I'm going to do there. So I'm going to do that in one video. Um, I'm not going to do like a 17 part thing. This is just really to get this engine going. See, I wanted to get started. I thought you'd enjoy it. But the mini bike build is going to be one video. So start to finish. And you know what? I can stick it up on this bench and I can do most of that. The frame's been sandblasted. And it's nice and light. So I am so bored at home doing nothing. And the Model A sitting there hasn't changed. Um, I did do a shout out to some mates today. So hopefully you can get a crack on that. But anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers.